another episode of the Den of Thinking Men, shot by Cali Vision, powered by Revolt. Talk about multi-hyphenates. Mm -hmm. Multi-hyphenate. Such a big fan of this woman right here. Yeah. And you got, she, she has her own camera. So, Cali, you can cut right now to her just smiling, being beautiful How about and chocolate. That? Ra radiant. Oh, like all those things. Radiant. This woman will sing. Mm -hmm. This woman will drop a bar on you. You hear me? Yeah. A bar on you. That's right. Then she will be the voice of your favorite animation character. Wow. Well. And then she will interview your favorite crooner. How about that? Sure. How about that? How about that? Sure. This is number one champion sound. <laughs> <laughs> we and Estelle. Mm -hmm. We about to get crowned. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go. That's awesome. Welcome, Estelle Darling. Welcome to the oh. den. To the den of thinking men. I'm so honored. Thank you. That was an intro. Bam! Of intros. <laughs> I feel so good. Yeah, yeah. The first lady in the den, too. I mean. The first woman the in first the den. Woman in the den. Yes, yes. So, so if anybody has caught her show on Apple, she does a live feed where she's dancing. Mm -hmm. And she dances so bountiful and with such a beautiful two-step, you would think she's carrying Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. You understand? Wow. Jesus? They got, I mean, it's, they got I mean, it's, it's, it's just, it's, 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 it's just an incredible bounce. I'm just like, this is why I love Estelle. Oh, yeah. thank you. Man. This is why, and, and before I get into, you know, how is your mental, because yeah. I ask that of every guest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you land at the name Estelle Darling? Because it's so fitting. <laughs> yeah, we're the Darling. Oh. Yeah, you like, like, you are Darling. Oh, well, right. thank you. Yeah. Um, no, I, I used to call everyone Darling because I forgot everyone's name. <laughs> in real life. How about I, that? They were. I am very like, I remember what I remember, but when I don't remember, I just don't remember. And yeah. I'm like, I know your face. Hi, darling. You all right? Yeah. And it makes people feel Indeed. warm and, and, you know, like, oh, she, she remembers me and I do. I just don't remember names. Yeah, really got well. you. But you know the face, but not the name. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I'm that person. And I have to, I'm that person all the time. And mm -hmm. I, it's not on purpose. It's absolutely just me. Mm -hmm. what I, feel. I have to say your name three times. I've done all the things that they tell you to do. Like, That's right. you know. Right. Um, and, but I feel like I've lived such a fast and very dense life, me right. and so many people. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I don't hold I don't hold myself hostage with it. So Darlings was because I kept forgetting people's names. Hey, we dig it. Dude. The honesty, I love it. Yeah. I ask this of every guest that comes because I think, you know, you said it, you know, you live such a fast paced life. Yeah. Like not a lot of people just stop and just ask, how are you? Yeah. How is your mental? Yeah. That's my question to you. Well today I'm good. Today yeah. I'm really good. Um yeah. It, it today is and me saying I'm good is like yeah normally my response is I'm wonderful because I really you know I, I choose to be happy right yeah. right choose oh, to be choose yeah. to be yeah because it's, it's a choice but yeah. looking at everything that's going on in the world I've been having a bit of a like oh, it's, it's, it's a tenuous time what is going on right you know? um, say work yeah. so today I'm good you know today I've kind of found a perspective with it and and I hope I carry it to tomorrow. Amen to that. That's amazing. So, you know, you know, you being from London and... West Side. From, West Side London. <laughs> West Side <laughs> London. Yeah. And then coming here to the United States, yeah. the, are, are there similarities that you see in the black community here that are there? Yeah, absolutely. Like, 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 like what are the pros that you see in black life versus the con you see versus, you know, when you being from London and, and coming to the United States? The pros out here is, uh, for, like... Festivals and carnivals, and when we get together and have a good time, mm -hmm. exact same thing. Okay. Like there is there is no difference. We, like we right. we absolutely party the same. We absolutely love on each other the same. We absolutely have the same things as far as family and community. Yes. Um, the, the cons are though that we're a bit more in London or in the UK. We're a bit more open to embracing. Uh, people mm -hmm. yes. who are not who are black from other cultures that's right yeah, yeah, yeah. whereas here it's kind of like I've, I've definitely had to push through the but you're not really yeah you don't get British. the same level of support you're really stateside English. you're not really black right I've, are you all, serious? all of the versions of it and yeah. I'm here like, you deal with that I've, I've dealt with that here wow but not so much now it's yeah. kind of like I kind of stand here and I'm like yeah well I'm here so yeah. mm -hmm. but at first when I came I was like that's great this is this mm -hmm. but are you sis you know and it was like a wow. it was a check yeah. Every single time I wow. pull up at certain places and then, you know, so I find that's the only con for me is like knowing that I'm, it's, it's a little different sometimes. So, so is there a greater sense of like unity mm -hmm. among black Brits 
versus mm. American blacks? Just, 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 just from your perception. <laughs> not necessarily even. Um, from my personal perception, not necessarily even. Um, there's a lot of, there are a lot of black British people, particularly in LA now. Yeah. Mm. Um, yes. We, we all kind of know each other. And sure. Most of us go out of our way to find each other and connect. Yes. And there's respect because we all know where we came from. <laughs> we right. know how much we were told we weren't supposed to succeed and in all the things. Wow. Um, so it's very similar to America. Yeah, it is. And, and I'm sure it's the same wow. with Americans who live, who are expats and live in Europe. And no question. Well, yeah. you know? So it, it's, 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 it, for me personally, I know, I know a bunch. I know a gang of us. So right. it doesn't feel so like, why are you here? It's like, no, you, you good? You need this? What do you need? I know right. where to get Ribena from. I know, you <laughs> right. know, I'll give all the That's information. Right. Like, right. We tell each other where to get, you know, British foods from and things like that. And yeah. we connect up on Boxing Days sometimes. You know, yeah. like, Boxing Days are like double Christmas. Yeah. You guys oh, have I, I know about okay, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, we, you know, we, have, we celebrate our moments, our, our British thing. Well, he knows. I didn't mean to cut you up. Your yeah, wisdom off. He knows. He knows. Yeah. We talked a little bit about the music thing before the camera yeah. started rolling. Yeah. But he knows that I spent, like, the first four years of my life in Oxfordshire, wow. and I came to the States with a British accent. Wow. So a lot of musically, I'm kind of tapped in because of the roots from what I learned there, even as a young cat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but to your point, when you get here, you're searching out for those kind of folks, like where you're from. Yeah. My accent left me a long time ago. I could kick it sometimes. You know, <laughs> it's you know, okay. In the club. It was, it was four, it was four years old. Like, mm -hmm. Look, I get cussed out solid. all day, like, what accent is this? People from here are like, what? What, what is? Where is? It's are, not you are you serious? See, when I go home, they're like, you sound American. And I'm like, just like, all right, come on, look. like whatever. You can't win for losing. <laughs> can't win for losing. No, I talk. I no. speak. But the West Side, the yeah. West Side of London, yeah. Hammersmith, is yeah, that correct? Hammersmith, West Camp, Hammersmith. Them, yeah. I was, I was looking into your story. Obviously, we're mm -hmm. fans, and um, you know, we, before again, before Cameron Rose started talking about music and, and the fact that hip hop is something that you know you, you have your bars. Yeah. And we're on the street as your uncle introduced you to like the juice crew. Yeah. Is that correct? All of them. What? All of that. Yeah. All of that. My yeah. uncle was my uncle was outside. Uh-huh. From all the way outside. Place. Yeah. Yeah, he was outside in the eighties and the nineties. Oh, um, yeah. Still like lightweight is. Um, <laughs> we all got that uncle. Yeah. We all got those family members. Them, yeah. it's, it's, it's no difference. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Same same same, same, same dish, different currency. That's right. right. Absolutely. Yeah. Um so he he introduced us to that as a kid. Um my mom was very much like, get off the floor. Break dancing while you're doing your elbows. Mm -hmm. um, your elbows are gonna go black. We were like, they're black anyway. What? <laughs> uh, like, mom, like, look at us. No, I mean, but I look. Look at us with all the right. same hue. All on the hue love. Uh, and then she was like, what if you spit on your head? You're gonna break your neck. And we were like, all <laughs> oh, right, lady. Goodness. And then she told us that the guy from um, Breaking had actually broken his neck. Uh, we heard that story for a long time. Yeah. That was a myth. That. And then I seen him on Instagram. And Urban he was alive legend. And he was good. Urban legend. <laughs> it's a lie. He's yeah. here. <laughs> I heard about Alfonso him. Ribeiro for a long time. And he popped up on yeah. the Fresh Prince. I'm like, he's alive? He's alive. Yeah. 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 I, think, I think every parent used that to mm -hmm. dissuade. Yeah. But whenever I've seen black life, mm -hmm. like I, I got my biggest, I guess, uh, scope of black life with Top Boy. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and like... That, but that, that is just such a small piece. Mm -hmm. But like prior to that, like I saw like Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Yeah. But there's just, that's just a little piece. It's, and, 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 it, and it's criminal life. It's yeah. a comedy, but it's criminal. Yeah. But then I saw Small Axe. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And Small Axe really gives you like, because it's from, it, it, is, it is a black man yeah. telling a movie from a black perspective. It's yeah. not for black people. It's about us from a black yeah. director. Yeah. And I found it so refreshing because. It's a love story. It, yeah, it's we never see we don't see British love stories. Yeah, we're we don't. Like, they don't we, they, no, we, we don't see love stories. <laughs> that's true. Black people. Yeah, I'm still holding true. on to Love Jones. Okay. Yes. Okay. Bring okay. that back. We're still there with it. Come yeah. on. It. You know, what I loved about Small Acts, like, and it came out right, right after I released my reggae album, uh, Love Is Rock. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes. It was like the visual component to me for Love Is Rock. Love Is Rock is about my parents' love story. It literally was Small Acts, hmm. how they met. Wow. Them getting together. Are you serious? All this stuff. I'm watching this movie going, oh. That's it. Does everyone, does everyone see this? <laughs> this is it. I was telling people this is the thing. So yeah. that's the, literally my parents' love story. Like the, the scenes of them in the kitchen singing, coming out at the house party. I remember being hmm. one of the kids on the stairs. Like I wow. was definitely there. Like on the stoop. On the chilling. stoop. Like in, in, in the kitchen helping to prep and then have to go upstairs while they're while they partying downstairs. Right, 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 right. Yeah. You know, like we were those kids in that house while they were doing it, singing silly games and like, you know, and like just the uncles and the who's was with who and 
the party and the, the slow jam, like all so of that. So it was very That's accurate. Was extremely accurate. And the flags on the wall, my dad's Grenadian. Hmm. Um, we have Trini in our family. We have all these other countries. We have West Indian and African all mixed up. Right. Mm. So like, this is me, this was me growing up. This was real life. The Sister Sledge and the Pointer Sisters hmm. on her wall. That was my mom, for real. Right. So I'm looking at this whole, I, I love the fact that it happened. I'm so proud of Steve. Like he did such a good job. Yeah, he's incredible. Of, give, of, of giving oh, us a giving incredible. black story incredible. from a black man about black people. Yeah. Okay, so that informs. Very happy. So, so, so that informs our next question. Yeah. What was the music diet in the house? <laughs> this because is, yes. We, 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 yes. We, like, like we're not going to get to all these hits just yet. <laughs> what was the music all diet right. that informed like who you became? I mean, was secular music even allowed in the crib? It, for a while, no. Okay. So at the beginning of my life, it was uh, it was soca, it was African music, it was Nina Simone, it was fifties pop rock because we lived in my nan. Okay. Wow. And and then it, as we got older, we went to went to church. Mm -hmm. Down my nan's, we went to church. My gospel. Was very much like. Yeah. Gospel. Everything gospel. secular gospel. is evil. Right, right, right. Right? Listen. Right. For it, a minute, it, but you know, we're yes. kids. We go to school, so she was. They were like. We're gonna listen to our Joe Dece. We're gonna listen to our God, have to. SWV. And, have to. You know. Were you sneaking it with the headphones? Absolutely, <laughs> under the pillow. <laughs> That's right. Real, real close. That's how I learned to actually like blend harmonies. I was singing church, but huh. I would listen to Joe Dece and SWV yeah. and all and Clark Sisters and all of that. Wow. And, you know, so that was my Clark Sisters were incredible. Personal, yeah. yeah. Those are my. Those are, That's how the music started coming. And then I'm go. I go to school and it's. Uh, Yaz and it's Bon Jovi and it's mm -hmm. uh, uh, Wham and it's uh, uh, wow. Take On Me. Uh -huh. like, well, you know, yeah, uh -huh. it's like it's like New Wave. It, all of that right. and Eurythmics and yeah. you know and so that was all as long as it was good mm -hmm. we would listen to it. Yeah, yeah. And then you know if it was whack or if it was just like, mm -mm. yeah, like, I'm like, good. yeah, this, get this out of the house. So, so, so you're listening to all this, this incredible diet of music. Mm. Like, are you like? Estelle, the pop star first? <laughs> were you trying to sing like Eurythmist music? Or were you like, were you, did you always know yeah. I'm going to sing soul music? It was always, I knew I was going to sing something. Um, it was going to be some version of R&B. It was yeah. going to be some That's version amazing. of. Because like to me, the queen of it all, I wanted to sing like her, but I wanted to do it like on R&B, um, was Ella Fitzgerald. Oh, no doubt. You, yeah, no like, doubt. She's my... Yeah. She's my apex. Yeah, like, she, was she was special. If yeah. I if I can, I probably will stop singing. Yeah. Um, the minute as anyone tells me, hey, you sound like Ella. Thank you. I'm done. done. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're we're so we're fun done. singing with you all these years, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm validated. We straight. Amen. I'm out. Yeah. Um, but she's one of the ones that you know. It's just it doesn't make sense what she did with her voice. Yeah. It still doesn't make sense what she did with her voice. Yeah. You know, that. Now, were you influenced by you know? And again, our conversation is always leading to music. Sorry. But the British like R and B, the loose ends, mm -hmm. the Omar. Mm -hmm. I love Omar. I didn't reckon with Omar oh, and the Omar. Omar, best by for pleasure. For pleasure, Omar. Yes. Yes. He's, yes. I tell him this yes. every so often, like just so you know. Yeah. Like you're so dope. Like, Omar was incredible. No one tells you this. Yes. I know they tell you this, but let Come me tell on. you again. Yes. And thank you for being because he was he stayed consistently him in an era where it was like, well, go to garage music, yeah. change it up a little bit. Yeah. He was like, nah, I'm just gonna sing, do my vibe, we straight. And and I'ma sing it so relaxed. Smooth. Like it's fun. Like like like, like roll out of bed. Smooth. Here I am. Smooth. Exactly, with the dread head on with the top. With a little silo dread joint for pleasure. But, but my yeah. question to you is, how, how did you feel about, you know, he's talked about loose ends, but soul mm -hmm. to soul. Yeah. Okay. All of these incognito. Brand new heavies. Like, are, yeah. like brand, brand new heavies. Yeah. Like, are, are you Paris. listening to mm -hmm. these in Lisa the house? And, and, are, and are you taking bits of these things as, as, as a youth? Yeah. And I like, oh yeah. Oh, Desiree's the reason why I felt like I could sing on TV. Desiree is a singer. Des um, Desiree was, was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm a, She has a song called... Uh, Gotta be. Gotta be. Gotta and be. Yeah, that was a cut. I did a video for a song called Conqueror, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize how closely it looked like Gotta Be. Mm -hmm. For yeah. me, I was like, I looked it after, I was like, yeah. this is some, um, like, you know, like yeah. when you manifest something that you're not really too sure, like, how it got here, but you just love it. And you're like, I love the look of this video. It's so great. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, wait, I just, this is Dash, this is Dash Ray from back in the day. Like, so. It's, you recreate what you see and what you right. feel. And Misha and Desiree, Misha Paris, Misha Desiree, Paris. Uh, Soul to Soul. Um, Yaz, I keep mentioning her because she was 
one of the ones. Mm -hmm. We didn't know if she was black, white, whatever. Mm -hmm. Turns out she was Nigerian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she yeah, was yeah. out there just living her best life, singing, you know, doing her best. Mel and Kim, another Mel duo. Kim. Oh, uh, they had a song called Respectable, which was fire. Which Family was, Stand. Yeah. Get to Heaven. You okay? Right. New sounds like. Yeah. The Influence, good okay. for we. The Influence. Come, come on. Come on. I'm going with you. All of them. Let's go. Like they were, Let's they go. were my like, I was 10, 11. Mm -hmm. I was 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Like, Oh, we could do it. Yeah, we can do yeah. this. Oh, we could do it. Like, we could do this. We could break it's through. It's not just America. It's like we could really do yeah. it. It's not just, you know, we could really be out from out here and really like and and, and go and be out here. Mm -hmm. But th th there seems to be a a finer appreciation for our art form mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? Well, you guys made up R and B. That's not, <laughs> that, that's, not, that, that's what I'm talking about. Our, to be our fair, R and B <laughs> yeah. in, 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 it's appreciated more yeah. in yeah, London, indeed, than it is here. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? I don't know. It's, it's, I was, I, I come across that question. People ask me that a lot. And I'm like, you know, it's two sides of the same coin at different scales, right? Because mm. we're all black. We are. And the, and the radio and the way that they move with different hits and different perceptions of different artists is similar to here. Right. Mm. But it's, we had this whole discussion about records that were, me and my manager were talking about, like records that would come out over here, mm -hmm. not come out over there, or come out over there, not come out over here, or would be considered tanked over here and be big right. as big right. over there. Huge, huge. Right. Huge in different communities. Mm -hmm. so they'll, right. they'll take a record from an artist that they thought they were like, oh, she's on the de decline. And over there, that's their biggest record for huge. us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huge in a specific community, in a specific way, to the point where 20 years later, they can go back there and perform to that crowd in the UK right. anytime they want. Yeah. Tear it up. Tear it down. Yeah. And you know, wow. here they're like washed. We're cool. Washed. <laughs> we, yeah. We're cool on you. You know, yeah. like yeah. it's kinda yeah. like yeah. it's just different perceptions. But the UK at the same time the UK radios won't play a black artist from the UK hmm. in the same space that they would play a, a seemingly washed US artist How about because that? it comes Serious? from here. It is very That's it was wild. like that for a very long time. I feel like things That's wild. shifted a bit now, but it was it was just just the oddest thing to look at, the oddest thing to live through. Wow, I, yeah. that's wild. So I, I've I've always felt like as big as Adele. I mean, Adele is a world mm -hmm. star. I mean, mm -hmm. that's two are you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but as big as she is in America, I mm -hmm. feel like Jasmine Sullivan should be equally as big. And I, in, agree. I agree. In, 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 in the UK. I agree. And yeah. why is that not the city? Because Adele's coming here, and she yeah. like. Yeah. She's singing our art form. She's yeah. adding her own one-two to it. Yeah. She looks and a little she, different, She's incredible in concert. <laughs> she looks a little different. With the elephant? Is the elephant in here? We, I mean, the elephant's always in race. here. We're going to talk about race, yeah. Absolutely, but again, Talented, though. It's, I think it's, it's the perception. Is how, it's, and it's an age-old story, is perception of how they, how they view us versus how they view a white artist. Yeah. Versus, and at this, at this point, it's kind of like, I get this question a lot. I've had this question over my career a lot. I'm just over the the divisiveness of mm, pitting us. Yeah, you yeah. know, like yeah, indeed. because you know, and Adele will walk up to. We've had conversations like in years beyond it, and she's like, you know, like I, I love you. I think you're great. Like mm. you know, like and she's apologized for things that you know was said back in the day. Mm. And I'm always just like. That didn't even have to happen. We didn't right. have to get into anything. Like, we, sure. like there wasn't really anything. We'd never really had to get into anything. Right. But it was such a. It it sold. It made people feel excited about. Right. Either art is like these two women cannot, should not get along. Mm -hmm. Let's start something. And uh, meanwhile, like let's do a concert I, together. Meanwhile, I, we. I don't care. Don't change the price of my <laughs> my rent or your mortgage or my that mortgage part. and your rent. Like, yeah. Right. That no part. one cares about that. We right. just care about good music. Amen. And it's frustrating. It is frustrating to know that. And, and to be fair, like now it's changing again. Jasmine can still go over to London and burn yeah, down. And like, do her thing. That's right. Mm -hmm. If she if if she chooses to, mm -hmm. you know, when she chooses to. Um, and it's just it's just about like people getting out of the headspace of like, oh, but that's that kind of artist. Mm -hmm. They're not supposed to, you know. Or, like, and and that's never the case with like an Amy Winehouse or it, yeah. they they can just do it. And yeah. it's like. And keep in mind, I'm fans of all of these people, Same. but I'm a major <laughs> yeah, fan no of question. yours because you. you're the oracle culturally of where Thank it you. comes from. Thank you. That's yeah. why I'm just like, how come my sister can't rock <laughs> the Staple Center when it was the Staple Center five nights in a row? Right, 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 but right. she can't. But anyway. It's, 
I, you know what? Listen, I feel you. I feel listen. you, and I understand. And it and it's frustra- It's a frustrating thing, but I'm not upset about it. Like personally, I'm not upset about it. I'm used to being five years ahead. Right. Personally, say word. <laughs> in all the things. No, that's and dope. I, and I, you know, if that's if there's an influence on somebody else, and the music's good, and it gets to somebody, and it means something to somebody, I'm happy with that. I'm Amen. genuinely happy with that. I can't. I can't sit in the space of like, man, I should, I should be. Right. I'm, I'm, I am. Oh, no, you're good. I'm good. No, yes, you're you good. Are. I'm straight. Circle back to the beginning. Yeah, you yeah. Good. You're two gentlemen who will attest on camera. Thank you. She's good. She's good. I'm straight. Good. Trust me. I love my life. It's wonderful. Like Amen. you know, like the path I'm on, the journey I'm on, isn't about that yeah. part of it. It's it's about like making music that means stuff to people in a way, and and then receiving it in a way that changes their life, that helps them move through life. My job isn't to be the most famous this thing mm-hmm. like that takes away from the music that takes away from the it message really does. that takes away yeah. from all the stuff for me right the way i'm supposed to put it out um so yeah i mean i'm successful i'm good i'm good it's, it is an and individualistic be, journey it, it really it, is it really is i had to perspectivize it because it started to become that question like well, how come girl i'm good like did i tell you i was upset like right like you you know when the music come out you like it right right you Buy it for your friends. Yeah. Good. When Freeway come on. When okay. Freeway come on. Come on now. I'm jamming. Yeah. Find a way to you. I'm my uncle said. Like one, four, three. Okay. Yeah. My boys, if you so stay in your lane, you won't hit nobody. So, so listen, hold on, hold on one second. So yeah. how often do you get back to London? Uh, I go to That's visit. Good they come to visit me. How often do they you get, get to back. London? I, I don't. This question don't, leads somewhere okay, still. Heathrow. I, when is Heathrow time getting I was to visit? In London was in 2020. Okay, so when you get to London, yeah. tell me how you get live in London town. <laughs> because you said this English chick, I show you. I mean, like, come oh. on. What are we doing? Well, back in my youth, no I'm joking. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. I still have fun. I go in and visit my family now. Right. When I when I was, uh, <laughs> I want to say. It feels like I'm dating myself here, like I'm super old. I'm really not, right? It's all good. I'm grown. You so see these like, receipts right here? Okay. Okay. Cool. And no, Come never die. Never die. No, listen. Uh, <laughs> never die, guys. It's going never down. Die. Okay. We're embracing every strand. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I no, I go and I I used to go like when I when I was going out and I was moving back and forth a lot. I wanna say like ten years ago, I would go and I would just be up from the minute I landed to the minute I left. Mm. <laughs> and my body was like, nah, nah, cut it out, right. cut it out. Uh-huh. I hit like 2017. My body was like, all right, yeah. it's been fun. Right. Yeah, right. we're gonna stop this now. Right, right, for right, a while. right. And I had to like take some real time. But we, we, yeah, we was outside. So I mean, like, are you going to like the football game? Are you going I mean, to no. your favorite Jamaican spot? Okay, your, so it's like so that, it like goes that, like this. Like, it goes like this. Time to go. So I land. Um, I get picked up or I get a car to my mum's. I go spend a couple of days with mm-hmm. my mum and them, right? And mm-hmm. then I go catch up with the homies. It's either at a West Indian restaurant, Nando's restaurant. At, they'll come to my hotel or wherever I'm staying, and we just end up just like we're very much like our culture is cook at home and chill. Yeah, yeah we're not yeah. the like let's go dinner. Let's right. like I was not raised on that. We didn't have no money for it first of all. Wow. But we were very Great. much like home and in the house. Mm-hmm. And so like that's the thing. Everyone comes around and sees me or we'll go to a particular place, but we'll all go. Wow. If I'm if I'm supposed to be somewhere and do something, I you guys come here, do this thing with me here. Yeah. Or it's all link up afterwards at my hotel. Yeah. And then we'll just go roam in the sea. Like we'll walk <laughs> around the neighborhood wherever I'm staying and just get into shenanigans because we're children. Right. But like right. we're very, you know, like it's it's very much like that. And then, you know, as we've gotten older, it's like, let's all link up at a solo house or whatever and just, you know, right. kick it. It's vibes. And right. then everyone's like married off and like got kids yeah. now. And life is different now. Life is growing. It like really it's is. a wild time. Yeah. Right. Do you, could you see yourself moving back? Nah. <laughs> like at all? That's true. But how, wow. long have you, how long have you been stateside? I have lived in the U.S. for 15 years now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 16 years. Okay. No, 16, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I moved the year before American Boy came out. Married wow. boy, 15 years old. That's about right, sure. Years, so. How about that? Oh, wait. Yeah. Wow, time. That's a time. That was a magical wow. time. You posted something today on your Instagram. You talk yeah. about, um, I'm paraphrasing, mm-hmm. when you move to a place where you have no family, look at the things that you will mm-hmm. find yourself doing that yeah. you wouldn't. Yeah. Why was that quote so significant to you? Because when I saw it, I was like, I started to repost it, but I'm like, well, I'm gonna see her later on. I'm just gonna ask <laughs> just her. Oscar, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like that. Let me tell you, because it's it's the truth of my life, the literal truth. Um, everyone could see me moving before I could. Hmm. 
I wow. was moving so much on my own. Like I was traveling back and forth between New York and LA recording off my own steam because I just felt like, man, look, all these producers don't really get it. I'm working with people and I know that I'm eventually going to have like some kind of, you know, something's going to work, something's mm -hmm. going to move. Um, and I had producers here, like I worked with one of the barges, um, I worked with Corrupt in LA, I worked with a what? lot of, like, a lot of rap, Corrupt rap and R and Corrupt. Raw Dog? Corrupt, Corrupt. That's, that's, a, that's oh, a return right there. Yeah, we worked what? with them, but I was like, this is before the very first album came out, right. so I was doing a lot of, like, personal uh, artist building, you know, like, mm -hmm. yeah. networking and just working with people out here and in New York off my own strength. Right. Wow. And the record comes out. First, my very first album, 18th Day, comes out. And my whole team were like, like my team being like my makeup, my, my stylist, my, mm -hmm. my gang. They were like, you're going to move. And I was just like, what? They what like, is you're going to move. You're going to move. You're going to move. You're going to come stay side. You're yeah. going to yeah. be yeah. out there. And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, we're going to just like the internet exists. It's cool. They were like, you're going to move. Mm -hmm. Right. Just like time, you know, it, everything turned around. I got signed to Atlantic. And I was like, yeah, this flying back and forth, though. Right. It ain't, it, it's, it's, right. Not... it's trash. My body hurts. Yeah. And I listen, and, I'm, and I'm, I've been that way. I listen to my body a lot. If I'm exhausted, I'm exhausted. Yeah, you better. You got to listen to your body 100% of the time. Yeah, and, it, and it's gotten even more intense now as a, yeah. as a girl. Like, I'm very much like, oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to sit today. My back yeah. started hurting just then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, like, I'm going to sit very still. <laughs> I, 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 absolutely. I yeah. So you signed to Atlantic. Hmm. At what point does John Legend come in? He was and before. How, so, so John Legend was before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. America, so, so, Amer so it went like this. I'm moving around. I'm working on my records. I'm trying to get, not trying to get signed. I was just trying to make this record, mm -hmm. right? Right. Make these really good records to take to a label. Right. And I remember listening to College Dropout's mixtape. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. And Kanye had been back and forth to the UK a few times, worked with a few people I'd worked with, done records with people I'd done records with. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, they're my friends. We bumped into each other at um, uh, Roscoe's. This is the story uh, you know, everyone's heard. I bumped into him at Roscoe's and I'm like, you're great. Where's John Legend? Because I like his voice and I have a particular song I've written. Right. I've written a hook and I want him to sing it. All the audacity, but also why not? Right. Um, and he comes out, and I tell him all this, and he's like, "Yeah, come to the studio, go to record." Party. I mean, I mean, just that easy. Yeah, yeah. He's like, "You know, some." I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good? You're great." Where's John? He's like, "You know, John." I'm like, "Yeah, I know his voice. Yeah. What do you look?" <laughs> That's my. Because there's no pictures of him. I have <laughs> right. no clue what this guy looks like. That's my like. man right there. And that's my guy. So he sounds <laughs> great. Um, yeah. And he's like, "Come studio." I was like, "Cool." So you know. The training of having been started as a rapper mm -hmm. kind of kicked in for me. It was like, well, you know who you are. You not. It's not that for you. This ain't yeah. that for you. You're not here trying to sleep with nobody. You're not trying to do. Uh, I'm no, you're no. good. I'm my business. So I can handle myself. So I go to the session and like John is there and me and him are having a whole geek squad session about this new Mac. And I don't know it's him because I still don't know what he looked like. And he doesn't sound that? like he talks. He doesn't sing oh, like wow. he talks. That's true. He doesn't listen voice. Yeah. He's quite a gentle voice and this you know, speaking voice, but then this booming singing voice. I mean, really talking about this Apple Mac, and I'm like, I got one, and this is an update. And, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and he goes in the studio to sing, and Kanye comes out, and he's like, Come take a walk with me. I'm like, All right. Because I'm just like, All right, where's John? Where's John, though? Where's John, though? Like, I'm just trying to go. I need to go. <laughs> like, I need to eat. Like, 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 literally, yeah. your, your, your eyes are rolling just recanting this story. That's right. No, as because it, relates it was to really just like, Oh, God. Yeah. Like, what does he want to talk to me about? Right, right. I feel like, am I going to get kicked out? Is this going to yeah. be like, John ain't here? Because like, right. I can go. Right. And he's like, you was talking to him in the studio. And I was like, he was? Who? Who was the guy? Oh, the guy with the OK. So I'm hot now. I'm, hey. I'm embarrassed because I'm there like, oh, shit. Wow. Uh, anyhow, he's singing. He comes out. And I say to him, look, so I have this record I wanted to sing. I want you to sing on. Mm -hmm. And here we go. And I played in the record. And they were like, John was like, sound good. And I was like, thank you. Like, you wrote it? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he said, like, leave it with me. And I'll get back at you, blah, blah, blah. So I do. I left it, went back. He calls me, he emails me, then he calls me. He's like, yeah, this is fire. Yeah, he said I could do it. This, what, how you want to do it? And I was like, are you coming to London anytime soon? He's like, yeah. He came, they hit the vocal, he hit the vocal, and we just were like locked in. Wow. Like wow. his friends ever since. That's awesome. That's awesome. Wow. Every time he would come and tour, he pulled me to come on tour with him. Anytime he had a show, he'd be like, yo, you coming? Like, so you, you know. weren't signed to him ever? No. 
I was signed to him after this. After that. So the second album, my album comes out, his album comes out same time, around so the same this is, time. So this is not Shine. This is not Shine. This is the 18th day and get lit. Oh day. my yeah. God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So th these albums are out moving and I'm on tour with him. I'm moving around. He says to me, um, I say to him, like, yo, working on the next record because you know I don't stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you help me produce it? <laughs> Exit produce it with me because I know it would be helpful, make them take it serious. Won't be so much of a struggle with the label. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, for sure. I go to the label and I tell them, John Legend's gonna help exact produce his album. And no lie, this guy says to me, who? And I went what? to punch a wall. I said, all right, let wow. me go. Yeah. So let wow. me go. I said, let, wow. please let me go from the label. Let me go. He said, wow. you're fit. Let me go, mm -hmm. let me go, let me go. <laughs> wow. And he was like, would you? I was like, no, I'd, I'd like to be released. I don't want to do this with you guys. This is How stupid. How about that? I was like, no, this is dumb. He's on the album. I've just been on tour selling this whole album with him. This record is done super, superbly well. And you all don't like, know who he is. Guys, I don't even know who he is. Even if they did know, it was just the ego, I think. You know, and there was a lot of drugs involved at the, at yeah, the yeah. time with the A&Rs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a whole cool. lot of foolishness. A whole lot of nuts. Um, and so that's how we locked in. And I told him, yeah, I just got asked to be let go from the label, um, just FYI. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, that's silly. Um, he asked me what it was, and I was, he was like, well, I'll sign you. I said, what's your situation like? And no, he just said to me, I'll sign you. Mm -hmm. He's like, I was like, you will? He's like, you should. I was like, you sure? He's like, yeah, let's do a deal. Let's go. I was just like, okay. What? It, it's, and go ahead, go ahead. Life changing. Like, yeah. Life changing. But it was, to me, it was just like, it was very destined. You know, yeah, like was. I get extreme feelings about things, and, I'm, and I move according to those feelings. Right. I, kind of, I don't overthink it. I don't wait on it. Everyone was like, how, how are you so cool with him? I'm just like, I just talked to him. I don't know. Yeah. What's, should I not? Like he's I a human being. Yeah, because we <laughs> are human beings. <laughs> we like, are human beings. No he's he's just more well known. Well, but, well, well at the time, he was still you know, on the way. But either way, he saw the work and he saw me, right. for want of a better phrase, busting my ass to like go, make it go. Yeah. And he saw the lack of support. He also saw the groundswell on the people who were yeah. like, no. She's the one. She has to know. You were the you know? one. You were there. Yeah. yeah, you were doing your thing. Supported. The really one. supported from home. So, what, what, I, 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 I'm I giving you an analogy. When Jay-Z is an artist and yeah. he signs artists, mm -hmm. no artist is going to be bigger than him yeah. on his label. Yeah. John Legend and you, you all work together mm -hmm. and you're a star mm -hmm. and you become a bigger star. Was it ever like any tense moments or was it always like oh you, you like you're supposed to do this i'm with you 100 yeah. percent. let's go together there, there were definitely there's always misunderstandings right, right. there's yeah, always yeah. there's always stuff but yeah. it wasn't directly with him it was always like it was it was the, always the, the people around someone around the said something and then yeah. it it was fed, fed back to me in a specific way but mm. i would always go to him and be like right. so what's up and then we clear it that's right. Or he would come to me and be like, so let's let's do this. Right. <laughs> you know, and so it was never, we've never had that weirdo moment. Our initial conversation was, look, we'll work together as long as you want to work. Hmm. And when you're, when you're done, when you're, you know, when you don't want to, or it is, we're of no use to each other like that, then we don't have to do it anymore. Yeah. And oh. when we split, we parted ways, it wasn't being used because it wasn't a fight. Because we right. didn't, there was no beef. Yeah, it was all fair. It was, it was time all to move on. straight. Right. We did what we did, like everybody's good, and you know, we're happy. Okay, yeah. well, really quickly, we we should know it's gonna be all right when it's the Roscoe situation. <laughs> <laughs> right? at, at that point, <laughs> at that point, the project is good. <laughs> we knew the journey was gonna be complete. Okay, with that Skull special. Okay, oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> they do right, so, have Skull special. That's Skull special. Okay. So, all right, so, so, all right, so, so, we got hits right now. Mm -hmm. Freeway, yeah, Queen, yeah. Thank you. This woman's duets are incredible. Magnificent. Thank I need to talk you. to you about Cardinal Official too. Mm. My my brother, mm. because I didn't really like, of course, I mean, like, you know, there are black people everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And wherever there are black people, there's going to be immense talent. Yeah. But I never knew that black people was really rapping in Canada like that until Cardi came out. Okay. And like, the way, let me finish the duets first <laughs> okay. before we go to that. <laughs> um, Come Over. Mm. Which was an incredible song, but then you threw Shana Paul on top of it, and it was just like, can this song get any bigger? Um, I wanted. Okay, let me keep going. American Boy with Ye. Yeah. Sidebar. Have you heard 
My, my son is a big Fortnite fan. <laughs> heard it. Yeah, yeah, have you heard it? I've heard it. When you heard it, it's did, you call your, did, did you call your attorney like, yo, no, I did. Shut I was this like, down well, right now. It's on Fortnite? I was like, what's going on? Like, what is this? I'm this like, song's on Fortnite? Yeah. No, no, no. American Boy, yeah. the beat, some little kid did like a, a, a rendition of it, yeah. but it is so terrible. But my son, every morning, he's like, just such daddy for he loves this song. I'm like, bro, now I see how my parents felt when they heard Brick House. Okay. And it was Jay-Z and Foxy Brown. Okay. Like, like I know how they felt now. That's right. Okay. That's you know what that, I'm part. Yep. that part. That so, part. So tell me about your relationship and how you and Cardinal official hook up. Oh god. I've known Cardi since 1999. Shout out to Cardinal Cardi, Official. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, Incredible that's, artist. That's family for real. Incredible like, artist. Yeah. Like we he's seen me grow up. Yeah. He's seen me since I was a 19 year old, like a, a kid. And I've seen him grow up to to a degree. Mm -hmm. um, he's like his first show was in uh, Jazz Cafe. No, one of his shows was in Jazz Cafe. I think opening up for Common, and I wow. knew his manager at the time, Mr. Morgan, who works with Drake and OVO now. And like wow. we go back like that. Wow. Mr. Morgan was actually one of the A and R's on Shine too. Hmm. So like we we go, we all go back. I when we started with Shine, the whole A side and. Mr. Morgan was at Atlantic and he was like, and guess who's the a on your project? And I was just like, this is why, wow. this is God, because I do. <laughs> That's right. But he, like, we've been family and friends, like moving in those, you know, same energy space for a while. Yeah. I've known Cardi for the longest, so this wasn't hard. This was a, like a, bro, I need, you know, I, I can hear some like, you know, some, some, you know what I'm talking about? Like, like, da, 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 da. like, I need some of that. Like, it was a tune. This is like some bounty song. It was a groove. It was, a you know? it, was a it was like, it was a you, like, like you said, when you were, when you were young mm. and the grown ups would be upstairs yeah. and you'd be like that, like, j just the way it comes on. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. I mean, it was just like. It's a groove, bro. Thank you. I was like, okay. <laughs> Thank then we you. Did, then, then you have come over. Mm. At what point do you say, we got to get Sean Paul on this. Or did Sean Paul hit you like, Estelle, I got to touch that? <laughs> no, look. So I did it with Super Dupes. And mm -hmm. they, were, they were like, yo, I don't remember even how the conversation started. I was like, well, do you want Sean Paul on it? Like, what do you think about it? And I was just like, I mean. Because it was massive before. Yeah. I was like, the, 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 the thing's good. Mm -hmm. And yes. I felt the same way about American Boy before we even pre approached Kanye. Mm -hmm. I was like, the thing's good. We straight. I, yeah, we straight. Even anyway. myself, I, you know, right. I know when I make some some magic. Right. I, I feel it. And right. Like, it's like, well, if that's gonna take it over the edge, cool. If he can do it, like, if he and he doesn't take twelve years, cool. <laughs> that right. part. That you know? part. Like, <laughs> we're, we're artists. We be, on, we be in our own special time. Yes, we do. I know. I know. And yes, we do. Maybe. So, <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't take twelve years, and I'm I'm happy. He came and he just like he just. Yeah. And he just laid on top of it. Float on it. Like. He just floated okay. on it and dipped down. All right. So we have You Are. Yeah. Which is one of my favorites. I mean, like, the way you and John bounce back and forth, because mm -hmm. everything is you. I mean, like, how did that all come together? I wrote that record. That's 100% my song. Hmm. Uh, that's 100% me. I wrote that. Um, wow. I don't know where I was, but I just, I wrote it and I played it for John. I was nervous because I was like, He's gonna edit this. He's gonna to want to write something on this. I mm -hmm. know it. We're making shine. We're in the thick of making shine, and he's going through every one of my songs with me, and we're rewriting. And he's teaching me songwriting in a specific right. way. And I'm like, he's gonna to want to rewrite this shit. <sighs> Serious. But I loved it. And you fought for I sent it. it. No, I sent it to him. And he sent it back. He goes, I love it. I'll sing whatever you need. As is. Like. So hold on. Hold, so, I so, sat down so, like. So hold on. Wait. 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 What? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The way you, the, the way it's saying, the way we hear it yeah. as fans is the way, exact way you wrote exactly it. Exactly the way I wrote it, yeah. I, to me, that was a big deal because, again, I respect him so much. You know, I'm listening to, I respect his songwriting as a singer. Mm -hmm. I write as a rapper. I write like huh. a rapper. You write okay. like a rapper. I write like a rapper. And especially at that point, I was like, nah, everything was a bar. Everything was like a, a, a rhyming couplet, mm -hmm. you know, and... He taught me a lot about songwriting in that era. And so for him to be like, no, this is beautiful. We could. We're good. What do you want me to sing with? So, so my question is, whenever you have those things where you're bouncing off each other, like, mm. you know, I can't believe you're next to me. Ooh, mm. like, yeah. like, how, how, how do you write that to where you know, oh, okay, John, this is your part. Okay, this is my part. He, he, just, he, he just took the parts that he felt like he should sing. And the back and forth of it all, I was writing that as though I was just singing to a guy, like just verbatim yes. to him. He was like, but... 
I can do it. We can we can go back and forth because I would be thinking that you know like I can't believe you're next to me. Ooh, when you're lying next to me, I can't believe it. You know, and he yeah. was you know he he got and he got in character into the vibe. Yeah. He's like, well, what would you say back? And I was just like, let's go. It, feels, it, it, it was just on. It feels yeah. improvisational, but in a really yes. cool rhythmic yeah. way. So, I agree. So, I agree. Yeah. He's, so, he's brilliant like that. Yeah. And so you all come back again on the next album with Fall in Love. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, is there going to be a duet album? Because <laughs> it's so good. Like That's when I fell in love. That would love. be amazing. Like, it, when, that would when, be amazing. When, I when, think. when you hear good synergy yeah. on, it's, it's like, um, I, I forget the brother's name, um, uh, Benny the Butcher. And um, what's the talk? Oh, no, it's Conway and... Um, Conway and Benny the Butcher. No, no, no. Oh, and yeah, Con yeah. Conway and West Side Gun. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. like when they go back and forth, hmm. like when you hear that synergy, you know. Yeah, yeah. And like, again, you approach a lot of things like mm -hmm. a rapper. Mm -hmm. Right. So when I hear you and John, y'all aren't rapping. It's just, it's love. Yeah, yeah. And so when you listen to a love song, yeah. you can't be hard. <laughs> it, 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 it just puts you in a state. I mean, you could. Mary J. Blige and Method Man. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, you're right. I was going to reference that. You're, you're right. Know. That was you're hard. Right. But I feel you. It, like, mm -hmm. this is the thing. And, and I get that. I had that question a lot too. Like, are you and John going to do a duet? And I'm like, that'd be fun. Yeah. yeah, we did a mixtape called the duets, that, but you know that was just like our throwaway records, and we just put it up somewhere in, in the. In you and John did, yeah, downloadable yeah. somewhere. Wow. Um, but like we we haven't ever seriously approached it, like because it was kind of like, no, oh, John's gonna do John, and you know I'm good, you know. But like it would be fun. That would be nice. That might be nice, John. Yeah. This maybe yeah. that'd be amazing. Come on, so, John. Yeah. Let's talk about you as a rapper. Yeah. Cause so <laughs> much, so much out the way. Yeah. One of my favorite songs ever. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man. Can I tell you how it? <laughs> he loves that jam. That song, because it is the perfect mix of like rap yeah. and R and B, yeah. and you even say it. It's a little yeah. hip hop and R and B. I yeah. mean, it's. Yeah. I was like, why is there not a full album of this? <laughs> of, this. of this. Well, I tried to give you that with Lovers Rock, a little bit right. of Lovers yeah. Rock, yeah, right? Did. But. Um, I wrote that with Wyclef Sean and, and, and Prince and Jerry Wonder. Jerry Wonder. Prince Incredible. Wonder. Jerry Wonder. Mm -hmm. Yes. And like, that was like going home, going home. Yeah. Like working with them, Platinum Sound at the time was like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to, I'll roll out of bed. I'm going to be over there. You know, like, I'm just going to go sit down. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to, we're, we're in. Like, you forget, I used to forget that we were paying studio time. <laughs> the amount of time we spent. Wow. Like, That's right. Like, it was that much family. We would spend hours having Sound Clash. Battles like sound crash battles, you know, like dubs and plays. Of course, yeah. yeah. And of course, Clef is the king of the dubs, so he was yeah. murdering me. But I was pulling up all these records he didn't know I knew, mm -hmm. and I, he was like, "Why do you know this?" And I was wait, like, wait. Bro. You pulled up Jump Front. I pulled up so many. Oh my I god! Up so many records for Are you them. kidding me? No, because like I, I listen to music. I listen to everything. I was raised in so many different pockets. Like I know all these records, mm -hmm. and especially as a rapper, like. I roll with like I used to roll with a bunch of groans, like yeah. uh, older grown like adult rappers, like yeah. dudes yeah. who did their thing and kind of you know were still around. I worked at a record shop for a couple of years, and so I would just sit and listen to them talking. I was like seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, listen to them talking about all their records and who this sample came from that. And then the guy at the shop, Pete, um, Pete Real, we call him. He spent time with cleaning up the shop afterwards and he would start playing me all these records. And I'm like, I know this one. And my auntie had that. And my mom hmm. had that. Wow. And my stepdad played in a sound yeah. and he had these records. And wow. so it was a refresher course for me. And I had it, you know, obviously it's You'd already retained Apple it. Mac. It's already in me. Right, right. Apple's come become famous and I'm <laughs> here downloading all these records and ripping them, line wiring, mm -hmm. showing my age now. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, you know, no, no, I love that. Line that's, wiring down. That's, like, that's and so I'm have, I have these. And on these flights... And on these trips back and forth in like 2099, I'm and I'm sleeping and I'm listening and I'm waking up for food and I'm going back to sleep to like Mini Rippin's albums and I'm mm. waking back up and listening to Feist and I'm back and I I'm love De uh, Dennis, uh, you know Dennis uh, Dennis Brown and Barris Hammond and I'm like and wow. this is this is like it just kind of sat in me so. To go in any scenario, in any space, like there's nothing you were comfortable yeah, anywhere. Yeah, I'm good. Every every scenario. Diplomatic immunity. Exactly. In any community. Good on any MLK Boulevard, darling. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Great. Let's yeah. go. So so wait, wait. I, I've been asked a bunch of questions. I got a lot more. Okay, okay. So I don't want to hog it, brother. <laughs> no, 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 listen. I want man. you to go. I always tell him, I just enjoy the flow. Okay. What I'm impressed by is just the musical 
knowledge, yeah. the depth of your crates, Thank you. right? Because so many artists don't really have that. I mean, mm -hmm. they, you know, they talk about, I know a little bit, a little bit of that, but yeah. as someone that's nuanced and really is, has tapped in every genre growing up, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really a unicorn. And yeah, Caps, he knows. Yeah. I can pull out anything from Todd Rundgren okay. to the Smiths. Oh, wow. Okay, to wow. Psychedelic okay. Furs. Yeah. We can do some gangster shit. I can go anywhere. So the fact that yeah. that really inspired and influenced how you move, yeah. it, it makes a ton of sense that wife has such success. But, mm. you know, we, music we could be on all day. I'm curious about the acting thing. Like, how did you pivot? Yeah, yes. what brought that? That, 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 that was the next thing. Yeah. Ooh, that was. How did you land in Steven Universe? And I just wanted to look. The, yeah. the, the initial call was to my team hey, I want to do voiceovers. People kept saying, but voice is distinctive, you should do voiceovers. Right. I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. People tend to see it and tell me it before I actually take the action on it. Right. But I know it, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. I'll they know got it. The intuition of it. Yeah, I know. Maybe I should I should do voiceovers. Maybe I want to be like, and then like the next month, you should do voiceovers. Da, 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 da. And I'd be like, right. I want to do a voice, you know, right. like, and so like, and this is the kind of pattern of I've learned to cut out the people telling me part and just go for it now. Yeah. But over the years, that was the pattern, and people were like, yo, you should do voiceovers. Your voice is distinctive. I kind of had the idea I should. I tell my team for like six months. I don't want to do voiceovers. I'm like a child with it. Right, I'm right, right, right. About right, right. They're like, did you get me a voiceover yet? Like the right. agency I was with, and they were like, get me everything but voiceovers. Wow. And I was just like, I don't want to do none of this. I want to do voiceovers. Right. Get me a voice. So comes around. She's well, like, you threw up on tantrum. No, I'm like, I was. I would call her every day. Shout out to Dana. I would call her every day at the office and be like, so did any voiceovers come in? Can I audition for a voiceover? Is there a voiceover? Wow. Did you get a voiceover? I don't want to go do that acting gig. Do you have a voiceover? Right. I would right. be a dick On it. Mm -hmm. but A dick, technically, but not really. I was convicted. You were focused. And like a conviction. She called me one day. She's like, well, something came in. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's like worth it. It's not too much money. I was like, what's the character? She's like, well, it's this, um, it's, it's the queen, like the, uh, the, the biggest or the big sister character, mm -hmm. some gems set in the gem universe, and mm. they want you to play the lead, like one of the main characters, read for this and read for the, um, the middle sister. And I was like, well, I'm a middle sister, I could do that. Mm -hmm. Big sister, I could do that. Mm -hmm. And so I go and I audition for it. And the more they tell me about it, the more I'm like, oh, this is made for me. It's cool, got it. She's cool, got it. My yeah. birthday's January. I'm a, yeah. I'm a Capricorn. She's got it. Yeah. Um, she's a big sister. There's three of us. So in my family iteration, there's three sisters, and then there's um, three boys, and there's three younger sisters. Hmm. There's nine of y'all? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Shout out to your parents. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Oh, Getting it done. They, yeah. They did. High yeah. five. Yeah. Ooh, That's yes. right. My mom is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So is my dad. Yeah. Um, That's right. And so I'm used to the iteration of three girls. So I was like, okay, well, they told me it was three sisters or three siblings taking care of a younger sibling. And I was like, oh, I know what that is. I can do that. And as the story builds and unfolds and whatnot, it just becomes like, I, start, I took a step back and I was like, I'm just honored because this is smart. This is informative. This Absolutely. is supportive. This it's is incredible. like the most inclusive, like right on time version of events of an animation and I'm just grateful to even be a part, and of, be a part of it. And then it was like, don't change your voice. No, 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 like, no. Like absolutely no, no, no. speak the way you no, speak. No, no. Yeah. Be Keep, deep stay voice you. Stay the same. That's like, yeah. have fun with it. Yeah. Like, be sarcastic. Oh, I was like, oh, wow. Say less. And so, and so from that, <laughs> Bear Bear comes. And... Yeah, We Bear Bears, they asked me to do the lead, uh, the, the, the soundtrack to that, which was yeah. another like, what is my life? Like, what is my life? What is my life? <laughs> You know when you listen to animation as a kid, and you listen to, uh, you watch animation as a kid, you watch cartoons, and you, there's this song, like I still yeah. remember Scooby-Doo, I still remember like, you Absolutely. know, sure. like childhood shows, Grange Hill, I know exactly what that yeah, sounds yeah. like. Yeah. So to be able to like, do a song that is like a print in somebody's life, again, this is, for me, it's the purpose. It's like, dope. It's the, yeah, that is I'm amazing. Great, it's know? dope. So and I mean, keep, keep, keep in mind, this woman is a bona fide superstar, and then I hear her on Nickelodeon. Well, see, that's like with my son laying on me. I'm like, is that a stale? <laughs> I'm learning some shit minute by minute right now. Yeah, I was aware of some of this stuff, but yeah. it's really breaking. It's blowing my mind. Yeah. And it's funny we said about when you're a kid, animation. You almost figure they're humans behind those voices, right? Because they're taking a certain kind of a universe. Right. 
right? You know, Scooby Doo. Let me tell you something. Listen, what? It's 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 seared into our memories. It's part yeah. of our lifestyle, and that's my that's been my prayer of everything I've done. God, let me do stuff that changes people's lives and yeah. sticks with them throughout their lives, and is about their lifestyle more than it's about just me being for the moment. You know, like and yeah. every one of my records, every single person that's come back and told me, oh, I love this record, it's because it meant something in a specific place. Absolutely. For them. The wildest one is thank you for me. Because, because, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sometimes I wonder, <laughs> why me? Let me tell you something. You are living your life, living this fantasy. <laughs> right. Listen, I'm let's quoting you. I still, I'm gonna cut you off real quick. Go. Let me tell you something. Oh no. That jam right there gets me emotional to this day. Absolutely. Quietly. And I'm not even that kind of dude. He knows that. <laughs> But every now and again, a said, jam with him. Is, I'm tough. What you mean? I saw that video. I was like, let me play that again. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a hell of romantic and shit. You know what I'm saying? That is a stunning jam. Oh, my God. That is a stunning Thank jam. You. It's great. Like, you've gone through the litany of cuts. That's the one that really hits me a certain kind of play. Right, right, right. You know? Um, I'm so shit. sorry. In the, in the nicest of ways. Because mm -hmm. if it hits you a certain kind of way, it means you've dealt with some stuff. And, yeah, and, and we all have, and it's the part that. I, I apologize to people or I, I give them a different perspective. I'm like, baby, I wrote, I, I didn't write it. Um, Akon wrote it. Jerry oh, Wynne produced that? it. Why? Oh. I didn't want to sing it. Why not? My team fought me on it because I was acutely going through it. Oh, okay. And it, and it okay. felt too real. A little personal right so there. Personal, yeah. I was like, well, who, who know my business? And who yeah. telling Akon <laughs> right, my right. business? Like, <laughs> Come on, I was, man. I was, I was livid. Like I was like, this. I feel like people talking about me. Right. On top of this dude out here, fucking everything walking. Oh my right, god. Right. <laughs> it was just, it was too much mm -hmm. at that point. Yeah. Uh, with little to no personal support, and so I, mm -hmm. you know, I went and sung it and cried all the way through. And they were like, yes, more tears. I was like, I'm really wow. crying. Yeah. What is wrong with you people? Wow. Um, I cried so listening it felt to it. Really, it yeah. was, it was a lot of energy with that. But Beautiful I just song. give people this, you got through it. Yeah, no you know, doubt about it. That's a song for getting through. That's, yeah. not the, that's not the end song for me. That's yeah. not the one where you take it and you're like, that's it. You know, mm -hmm. right? here's where I am. That's it. It's like, this is the song that gets you through the thing to the end of where you're supposed to be going to. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's funny about that song. Like, w whether you're going through that or not, and if you are, it's even deeper. Yeah. But certain songs resonate regardless mm -hmm. because of this, the sound, the, feel. the energy, yeah. the soulfulness behind that mm -hmm. song. There's some Mary J songs who do that for me. All the time. She's yep. the queen of that. And that right. was the other thing. I was yeah. like, no, they gonna think I'm trying to be Mary J. <laughs> right, right. right. When I first heard it from morning, I thought I thought it was. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. She takes you through it. Yeah. But no, that's that's a classic jam. Yeah. Incredible. Thank you. Yeah. So amazing. On this podcast, we take very sharp turns. Pivots. Okay. What's the pivot? Very sharp turns. Mm -hmm. What's the turn? What's the pivot? I've always wanted to ask a black British person this. Yeah. Go ahead. In reference to Meghan Markle. Oh. So, Sis. there are there are people that are among us mm. that may be one of one, shielded in the community, that don't necessarily get the full black experience. And when they see things happen to the the the, the vast majority of us, it's like, well, that's happening to them that's over nice. there. Hmm. Until they find themselves square in the crosshairs of racism. And, hmm. here we are. and it's always intriguing to me to see those people once they realize that, that racism, because it's tried and true, it said, oh no, the light-skinned one, oh, you're getting some of this too. It's okay. universal. The well-educated one, oh no, no. I'm not laughing because You're getting some of this too. <laughs> but it's true. It's My universal. question for you is, were black Brits like, are you serious? Or were you all like, peace and love? Um, there, was a, there was a bunch of are you serious. Yeah. There was also a bunch of like, we're used to looking at the monarchy and the spectacle of all of it. Right. So like, right. also there was a, there was an energy of like, let's see this popcorn. Let's see what's going to happen. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Let's see what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, it's a lot. Like I was raised in a pretty, now I look back at it, pretty militant family. Mm -hmm. And my mom was absolutely teaching us all of the things that they didn't teach us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Without thought, without like. Uh, without any kind of like apology, there was no okay. explanation for it. There was no apology. There was no like, well, don't tell your friends this is school. Like, now go and tell your friends too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They tell need to know the that, truth. Tell them this is what it really was. Right. right. And right. we were raised like that, so you know we've always kind of been like, well, here they go. Let's look at the spectacle. You know, yeah. that was kind of that's kind of been my thing about it. I don't like, girl, real life has been happening. 
for a very it's long time. It's been happening for a long, yeah, a long but, time. But, 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 but it, it, again, yeah. this happens to a lot of people that I know that are just like, well, you know, that happens to y'all. My mom, my mom gave me this. I always give it, this is a, a thing I always say, it straightens up. And I, my mom gave me this when I was a kid. I went to school and there's this girl, she's mixed race, half black, half white. Mm -hmm. And she's calling me black he this, nigga that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I, and it never really bothered me, but I went, never really messed with me, but I went home because I didn't have nothing back to say back to her. Right. I mm. knew it was damaging, but I just never had a word to no give her back, back, like no I never had back. a comeback. Right. Right. I was like, ma, this girl said, ba, 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 but she called me a this word and a that. My mom was like, okay, next time when you see her tomorrow, you tell her, guess what? You're black too. And wow. if the NF come running for you, if they come running for all of us, mm -hmm. NF is like oh, the KKK and the UK. Yeah. The yeah, NF yeah. come running for us, just because you light skin, they're still going to get you too because you're yeah. black as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, take that and like cast her out. How about Went that? to school the next day, like Kevin Hart. <laughs> My mom said, <laughs> you're black too. <laughs> and if the NF come for us, they're coming for you coming for and they're going to run you down right. and they're going to beat you up That's just real. like they're trying. And I told her that. So that was the perspective mm -hmm. for me. It was like, yeah, like a drop, an inch, or whatever. This is yeah. these are these are people who have been conditioned a specific way. Right. They see no difference. They probably want. There's always hope. Right. There's always hope. There's always hope. Right. But always hope. This is a this is a road that's been genetically. In, this is a thing that's been genetically ingrained into people. Mm -hmm. And we pray different, and we we trust that our actions move people differently. Wow. But there is a certain amount of like understanding. Sure. There, like. This, this is how you believe in what you think. Yeah, right. And I, I can't personally do anything to immediately change that. But I'm, you're not going to stand here and make me feel crazy. No, no, because, no. no. you know, you don't want to accept that. No. You know, right. Right? Or you're not going to come at me crazy or, you know, because that's what that is. So, like, the idea of, like, oh, my God, it was such a shock. Yeah. It needed to happen. Yeah. It needed to, no, it needed to happen because that needed to happen and blow all of that up. It really did. I think that was a particular journey for her. It, it really wow. did. But the idea of it all for me is like, this has been happening for a while. Yeah. Like the caste system this is real, sis. Yeah, this isn't, yeah. this isn't new. Okay, all right, so. Welcome, welcome. Ex ex exactly. Welcome. to the world. Welcome to the dollhouse. So, 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 so we're off that. God bless you, sister. Hope you find yeah, peace. Yeah, she's yeah. fine. Because we're getting to the, to, to, to the end. Mm. Um, you recently interviewed Usher. Mm -hmm. My way. Very good how you have, and, you, and you, the thing is, I always talk about like how you like be dancing and how you be talking. There's a part in there you say, you know what? It's something about that song. It reaches a certain point. I'm dancing with my palms up. Yeah. I've never heard anybody say dancing with my palms yeah. up. Yeah. But I mean, like, again, that's an Estelle Darling yeah. ism. That's a that's a real me thing. That's yeah. like that's me so so so. You're an interviewer too. Yeah. On Apple, yeah. how does that come about? Yeah, and great, like, what is it that you cannot do? <laughs> yeah, great podcast, by the way. Great podcast. I've yet to find what I can't right, do. Right, right, right. No, so. We, it came from music. We started working on um, Lovers Rock. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I was in the studio, like, years before Lovers Rock had really taken format and shape. Um, we had pitched to Apple, we should do, I want to do a show around the culture, West Indian and African culture and how it's mixing. Because at that point, Afrobeats, all of that was kicking up. Sure. And, you know, it was like, if this is 2014, I've been listening to this since 2008, since mm -hmm. I moved, mm -hmm. right? right? And I was trying to convince them, like, yo, trust, like, you know, everywhere we went, like, we went to, like, Essence and different places, like, Afro beats are regular. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. It's coming. It's, it's, coming. Up. it's, it's up. coming. And they were like, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so we pitched it to Apple. They were like, we're in the middle of changing over. I guess Beats and Apple were doing some kind of, uh, yes, yes, know, yes. Some yeah. kind uh -huh. of uh, merger. And they were like, we'll be back. Come back to us. And I was like, cool. Came back around, we put out Lovers Rock, and we're in the studio doing a show, a feature for one of our friends. And he was like, you should have a radio show. Me and my manager were talking about music and artists and just like mm -hmm. debating, like music debate, mm -hmm. saying, no, because this person should do a that, that, and you know, I want to see them record together. We're having a full out debate in the studio. Mm -hmm. And one of the writer friends was like, you should do a radio show and just have this, because this is entertaining as fuck. Like, right, right, you right, right. just, <laughs> I was like, I, like I was scene. like, yeah, you yeah. should really pitch a show to What's Apple. This? I had forgotten we did the pitch. It came back up in my emails like, oh, shit. Yeah. Um, but we pitched the show to them and they were like, we have one better for you. You want to come do a radio show? Hmm. Five days a week? A real talk? Like, real thing? And I was just like, you know, I can do that. Imagine I can play whatever I want. They were like, whatever be you still want. on radio. Be like, still. 
Oh, say less, please. Absolutely. At the house. No, no, hold on. At the house. Stop, stop, stop. Hold on, wait, wait. So wait, at the house came because of the panini now. Okay. They were like coming every day and I was just like, that'd be fun. (laughs) I like that. (laughs) I like that. So stop, because I I, got to keep track of this. Incredible singer, artist. Check. (laughs) Writer. Check. MCU. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go do cartoons. Animation. (laughs) Then I'm going to say, you know what? Do a radio show. Do whatever we want. And, my, and I dance like, with my palms up. Like, whatever we want. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it's from love. Dance One of with the, the palms up. I do. Don't dance with my that. palms up. It's from love. It's all from, for me, it's all from just, I love music. Right. Yeah. It's, it's been my consistent, my constant, my whatever. If, if I can't mm. hear it, I can sing it. And I don't judge myself and I don't put judgments on people per se. More than I just always want to hear them do great. Oh, yeah. be mm-hmm. be their best or do it from a place of real love and you can hear, you can hear and feel when it's not from that mm-hmm. but all of these things have come from just my genuine love of like music the, the idea of it the discussion of it the feel of it the people that are in it Rebecca Sugar with the cartoons she just, she was listening to Freak one of my other records mm-hmm. and Ricardi. drawing and, right Freak Ricardi and drawing the video drawing the picture of Garnet from the video wow. image uh, you, you're going to see the hair. Now you're going to yes. go back and look at the video and be like, I see God. Yeah, I, I see. get it. So it's all just music's kind of been the, you know, my love of it's been the, the great common denominator in all of this. And that's it. I just, I go and I have fun and I, I realize that I'm a light. I understand part of my purpose is being light and Amen. being joy. And yeah. as much as I'm able to do that and be that, things will keep continuing to open. And when I get in my bag and I'm moody, Shit trash. Yeah, yeah. You know, I try to stay light. That happens. So I make it I make a choice to stay light. Yeah, stay, stay in my bag. Stay in my stay, bag. Stay, stay, out of, stay in the right part of your stay bag. Stay in the right part. Get in my bag, stay in my bag. The right yeah. part of my bag, the light part of my bag. Yeah. Okay. I like that. The right yeah. part and the light yeah. part. Yeah. So dope. I have two two final questions. And I'm gonna give it to my brother. Yeah. What is next? No, yeah, that's you? it. Yeah. Staying in my light. That's right. Um Amen. Well, I'm writing a book. Write um, a book. Yeah, I'm writing Come a book. Come on now, let's stop. Um, stop. But, but, it's, but it's about, it's, this is about, um, I'm writing a book right now. I'm always working on new music, new mm-hmm. music's coming. Yes. Um, writing a book, and it's more just about the things I've learned, more hmm. than a tell-all, more than a like chronological version of events. It's more like, these are the things I've learned over the period of my career. Wow. Yeah, the other question I kept getting was how. Um, yeah. I, couldn't, I can't tell you. Hmm. Right. This is all God. It's divinely orchestrated. This, wow. He just pushes me in the right place, and I listen. You know? Amen. So, yeah. last question is from me: Is what would what, what would you tell a younger Estelle? <laughs> Wear the belly tops. Wear all of them. Every <laughs> one of the belly tops. <laughs> Wear every single belly top you could find. Okay, you appreciate this for fashion. Mm-hmm. Wear all of the belly tops. Oh no, that's no. Be just like be and live and do because right. it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It mm-hmm. really doesn't matter. The thing I realize, especially with musicians, is. We put such constraints on ourselves. We go so far in one direction or so far in the other, mm. trying to get noticed about certain things. And when people are just living, when people are just doing what they want to do, that resonates way more with people. Amen. You know? So just do more of what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And actually, I lied because I because I, I do have one final question. What does fashion mean to you? That was my question. <laughs> Just well, you know, we can cut it, and you can ask it. No, no, no. Listen, I, as as two brothers has probably spent about fifty years in fashion, respectively. Yeah. There's always a question of how does that, what does it mean to you? Yeah. How does it make you move? Yeah. How does it kind of influence your musical style? Because yeah. fashion yeah. is kind of the epicenter of all that in some some form of fashion. It's individualism for me. Right. It's helped me. It's almost felt like armor at certain points. There you go. You know. Um, wow. Yeah, like when I was straight rapping, when I was learning, like when I was in that bag. I wasn't going on stage in a skirt, you know. Yeah. I was all all wow. all pantsed out That's right. for yeah. a long time in my a big a long period of my life. I was jeans, pants, everything. Seriously? Yeah. And then I realized when I started singing more that I had really good legs. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, so that I started like, you know, oh wait, hold let me on. Let me let out. Let me get this calf out though. Let me get this calf out. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Just like you start realizing and embracing different parts of your body, and yourself. when you when you get more comfortable and you get more, um, you know, like when you just when you explore different types of parts of my music. So I've used it as different types of armor, per se, or different types of. Uh, I didn't say armor because that makes you feel like you're going to war, but I've used it as like 
different parts of expression of myself as I've gotten grown and more into different types of music. Mm. And, you know, just, it's, it's fun. It's absolutely fun. Like, you can do whatever you want with clothes. Yeah. It's fashion and there's style. Yeah. You know, there's yes. the trend. There you go. And yes. there's, well and there's, said. there's the, what you do with the trend. Or, or if mm. you care to go down the lane with the trend or stick with your own stuff. Yeah. You know, like an Erica Badu just does what she want to do. Right. Yeah, right. And that's, that's style versus fashion, which is put the peplum on. You know, and I wore the peplum for a while, but no one told me to wear it per se. We put that on because we wanted to put that on. Mm -hmm. Right. And then, you know, and then it was the peplum. Right. You know? Right. Um, so I've watched how, you know, I've seen how people have done the fashion versus style and the trend versus your own individual. And I stick with my style and individual. Hey, man. I dig that. that. Yeah. That's it for me. Quality. Listen, first of all, that's honor that you came here oh, to sit with to us. Here. Thank you so much. No, no. The first lady, I feel good. This Thank was, you. I feel honored. Listen, the first lady in the den, it's it's only fitting that you're a true lioness. Thank you. And uh, we just pray that as you continue your journey, you mm -hmm. finish strong and you're strong when you finish. Amen. So thank you for coming to the den. So it is. Amen. Mm -hmm. So this has been another episode of the Den of Thinking Men, powered by Revolt, shot by Cali Vision, featuring the amazing, amazing Estelle, known as Estelle Darling. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. I, I say this after every episode. Be kind to yourself because you're always listening. Amen. Till next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.